I'm Nasa Laura from Bishop Seward, Mbara. Yo, say, yo, Uganda Christian University. Fanbase, I think, is the biggest. I just want to approach him and ask. Betas, how we took a pata. Even it had and us, that a pata. Yeah, it was an amazing experience. Uh, thank you for hosting us. The weather is uh, pretty much rough. We are very delighted at the turn up from teams this year. We have registered 83 teams coming for this edition of Dr. Aporo Kwan Memorial Volleyball Tournament. I am not shy. Yeah, we do big. That's cake signature Komi. I do bake with my wife. This is what we do. <laughs> Just as you can see, these guys are so very happy. I represent Gul Volleyball Club. Go second one, vocational school. Uh, Bishop Shot University, and I'm called Kamkama Davis Mugangizi from Mara, Western Uganda. Katikamu. SDA. Web lens, is it web lens? Yeah, okay. yeah if A very good afternoon to all our viewers of Emria TV. Of course, it is always your girl Nita Lavi bringing you the best of the bestest across Eastern as usual. And today we are in Kumi at the Apur Cup. Yeah, it's the, it's called the Apur Cup. It's one of the most organized events, sports events in Eastern and by the way, Uganda worldwide. This is an event that brings together schools different schools from eastern different schools from all over uganda and all over east africa by the way this apur cup is one of the best and and one being one of the biggest sports events it brings together schools different schools come together schools like boutique university boutique secondary school schools like nora secondary school schools like kampala university are all here but this sports event is more especially for volleyball as as you can see behind me it's only volleyball and when you look around it's especially for volleyball but this event is always sponsored by Centenary, Nile Club, I'm seeing Castle Light, and we are going to talk to very many students that are going to take us through how they do it, like how they've managed, and we are also going to talk about the sponsors. We are, this is an event that was a little bit there, but because of COVID issues, it was cancelled, it was put to a, to a stop, as in it was something like a coma which scared people. People thought it had ended, but of course, immediately after COVID, they had to come out with the activation of this event. I remain Nita Lami. Keep it watching on Emria TV. Watch Emria TV. Let's continue the show. We are going to speak to different people that are going to tell us more about the Apple Cup. Let's go. Organizers of this very event, and which which makes me happy because he's going to tell us more about this event. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, uh, the look of everything. You look like one of the organizers of this event. Yes, uh, my name is Singurat Vincent. I am chairperson Eastern Uganda Volleyball Association. Uh, this year's edition of Dr. Poro Call is being organized by Eastern Uganda Volleyball Association together with uh, Uganda Volleyball Federation. Um, we are celebrating the 28th edition of oh. Dr. Aporu Okwan Memorial mm. International Volleyball Tournament. Wow. We are supposed to be celebrating the 30th, but because of COVID-19, mm. uh, two years were affected. Otherwise, we would be on the 30th edition. Wow. We are very delighted that the turn-up from teams this year, we have registered 83 teams coming for this edition of Dr. Aporu Okwan Memorial Volleyball Tournament. Okay, uh, according to your speech, it's a memorial, it's like a memorial tournament. So, how did you come up with this? Like, let's do this for Dr. Doctor who? Dr. Aporu Okol. Yes, Dr. Okol. Like, what motivated you guys to come up with this event? Uh, in 1993, when Dr. Aporu Okol passed on, he was a national player. 
and he was the uh, first patron of Uganda Volleyball Federation. So, Uganda Volleyball Federation decided to organize a tournament in memory of him, celebrating his life and contributions to volleyball. So, the tournament started in 93. Like I said, it would be the 30th edition, yeah. mm, but because of COVID-19, we missed two years. Uh, so far, in the men's clubs, we have Nemo Stars qualified. Nemo Stars are the defending champions. They're the ones who won the 2019 edition. Wow. And they are progressing so far. They're at quarters. They are struggling to defend their title. We also have a team called Sport S that's also qualified for quarters. We have OBB. OBB is the national champion in Serie A, so they are here. They have also qualified. We have KAVC and we have Equity from Kenya and then Juba from Southern Sudan. They have also qualified for the quarterfinals. This really sounds interesting if it carries now even East Africa. So this thing is across East Africa. That's why it's called an international edition. Other years we have been receiving teams from Rwanda, but this time we have received from two countries. Southern Sudan, one team, and Kenya, two teams. Yes, yeah, so as I was moving around, I told you there are very many people here. We have captains, we have PRs, and with me, I don't know the one I've met, but it's better we get to know. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to you. How are you? I'm fine. You look like a coach. You're scaring me. You're very... Uh, actually, I'm a corporate. That's why I look like that. <laughs> Yeah. So, so what are your names? What is that? My name is uh, Wobik Patrick Odoch. Oh, okay. And you, as in, you look like a captain for a, a school. You need to tell us more about yourself. Mm, I'm not a captain of a school. I'm a, a player of a corporate team called Soroti uh, Pella uh, Commodities. Soroti Pella. Uh, yeah, I've heard about this event some time back, but it was later stopped during the COVID. How were you able to catch up again when they told you about the, the resuming of this sports event? Yeah, immediately the president gave a, a green light. Mm. Uh, we resumed, we called back the players and we started. But of course, even during COVID, remember it was advised what we should do exercise. Yes. So we advised our players and uh, team members mm. to do personal admin. At least some bit of jogging to keep you fit. So when we came back, it was not so so affecting on our side, yeah. Okay, so when did you start? You began with the immediate start when they said, when they came up with this idea? No, actually for us, we on. By the time when the, the sporting activities were allowed by the head of state that the, the sporting activities can now start, immediately we resumed with our club. Uh, no, what I meant, like before, back then, eh? well, did you start with the event when you heard about it in the 19 what? About uh, this, uh, the, 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 this tournament. Mm -hmm. well, this tournament, uh, since it has been there, we have always been preparing. And in, in, in our club, it is in, in our calendar. Eh? We plan for it that every June we must be in Kumi. And this is not the only tournament we play. Yeah, whenever there's an open tournament uh, within, we, we participate. Which has helped you to keep up with the sports and keeping the body. Yeah, the body, yeah, by the man, old man, but you cannot believe it's just because of sports. Okay, yeah. I understand he's one of the corporate teams and just know everyone here is just flexible. I think I'm the one, the only one who is not flexible, the way you can see him. He's saying he's an old man, but you will not believe it. But it's okay, thank you so much, sir, All thank right. you so much. With me, I was moving around, this guy looks very scared, that is why I'm going to be very brief with him. How are you, sir? I'm fine, madam, how are you? I'm fine. Hey, you look very scared. Is, is it just seriousness? No, I'm just serious because we came for the trophy. Which school is this? Go oh, second one, vocational school. Namgongo. Ha! Are you not scared of this episode team? No, we are not scared of any team because... Okay, which team are you, do you feel like you are for real, I have to score? Uh, Ngora High from Kenya. Why are you undermining those people? No, because we know we are the best. Okay, now which which school are you scared of? Like, if I play with this team, I swear we are gone. Uh, uh, I'm not scared of any team. Hey, people are brave. Hey, people are very, but I'm scared. People who are playing volleyball are very tall. And my dear, we are almost there. No, it's not all about the height, uh, but the training. <laughs> So you feel you have enough training? Okay, they are all the best. I don't want even to speak much because I don't want your energy to be wasted. 
Okay, okay, thank okay, you. Thank you so much. And with me here found some ladies. They look disappointed. They're not even inside, they're outside. I must know why. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, I must know why. <laughs> good afternoon. Hi. I'm good. You look sad. No, I'm not sad. Are you among the players? Yeah. What is that name? I'm now Salora from Bishop Seward, Mbara. We came to compete, but unlucky we're out of the game. My dear, now it's high time we want to get. We came out first because these people are hard, but we tried our best. Bam, do you am sure? <laughs> so what was that team that really scared you that you lost the energy immediately? Okay, CCA. My dear. Pity, but next time we shall do it better, <laughs> lady. I'm good. Mm -mm. You're not good. I'm very fine. Are you in the same team? Yeah, we are in the same team. <laughs> that is why you have decided to take it easy. Yes. I won't even speak That's much. You've already said everything. <laughs> Anyway, next time better, but you guys, I just love the fact that you guys came up with, like, you had the courage to complete. Yeah. Which is very good. But is it? Okay, Things happen. You. What are you going to tell those people when you reach there? Because I think all their hopes were with you. Especially when we go back, uh. we must tell them about the side, uh. how they bet us, how we <laughs> took a pata. Even it had weakened us, that a pata. Atapa. Atapa. Mm, yeah. You're used to your milk. Even Atapa is so new fire. Even Nikaro for Mohogo. <laughs> <laughs> Mohogo has finished you people. Hey, hey. <laughs> I, want to, I don't want even to speak much because I see all your energy is already lost. So we want those people to really know that seriously things have been hard here and you're going to tell them in your mother tongue. <laughs> I mean, to them thank you this side. <laughs> that is all you can tell them. Why don't you tell them Akaroka Teda? Akaro. Akaroka Mhoko, eh? Kavika Kisi. Even your baby are white. The meals this side, you can get a Kazokenya machine to be The meals are so interesting anyway. <laughs> so you feel you want to stay? No, no, no. One of the boys that have been given seriously. Is it true? Uh, well, uh, by seriously, I don't know what you mean, but um, <laughs> we tried our best. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, a few times for training, uh, we had a uh, little time in uh, the camp. Mm -hmm. But when we came here, well, we gave our best shots and we managed to come out in the round of 16. Oh, what is that? Uh, Bishop Shot University, and I'm called Kamkama Davis Mumanjizi from Mbara, Western Uganda. Uh, I've been hearing people, the accent was really for can see me. So, <laughs> so I was wondering, so was it because of lack of training or too much milk? <laughs> well, uh, it comes with a lot of things, but I think sometimes it's, it's because of training and then the exposure uh, there in Barra is a little bit little when you compare the teams in the central and in this side because well I see here in uh, eastern Uganda uh, students start training from primary yeah. so that side they have not adopted that and hopefully the people in charge will pick a leave probably if some of them have come inside oh. and yeah yeah so you people this was something abrupt to you it was it was not abrupt mm. But uh, the other side, the season was done, oh. so a lot of transferred, uh, had, uh, transfers sorry, had gone on. So, like you know transfers, you switch players here and there, so yeah. Oh, yes. So because of those transfers, yeah, they lost, have affected you. Yeah, we lost but some I... of the players and then we gained new ones. So we, we need to get that bond together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but at least also you guys as well need to work upon your team. But it was nice you guys work like being part of this. Yeah, yeah it was an amazing experience. Uh, shout out to everybody uh, down here, up here. Sorry, uh, thank you for hosting us. The weather is uh, pretty much rough. Uh, it's so hard to bear, mm -hmm. and then it's hard to get food and stuff like that because we are used to soft food. You're mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are used to. Mature. Yeah, we are used to soft food and stuff like that. But now. <laughs> it's, it's, but it was an amazing experience. Mm. Hopefully we can come back next time. Wow. Two members of any other team and uh, with me here is one guy which team? Uh, I represent Gulvoribo Club. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, we came all the way from Gulu to come be part of this tournament. Uh, it's our annual routine whenever a poll call is on. We always make it a point to be here. Uh, it has been a nice experience. One, uh, we performed to our expectations, reached the quarterfinals, and it was our target just to get out of group stages and reach the knockout stages. And you really have the hopes of getting there where you want to be. Yes, uh, apparently we qualified for Serie B, the second national league after Serie A and will be part of Serie B come September. So this tournament we just used it to prepare ourselves mental and physically for the Serie B competitions. Okay, what is that name again? A Gulu Volleyball Club. Your name? George. Mueva is a George. Mueva sounds like a Western name. Yeah, the game moves us, so I can be attached to any team at any one point. Make me feel out. I don't know. I'm okay. I want you to face the camera. I don't feel shy. Yeah, you know, cute. Yeah, cute men don't be shy. Mm. Mm. So, you're far from the thing. I thought you know, people are supposed to be in the pitch. Why are you this far? Well, as for me, you know, there's time to give a dance floor to another the young people which are yeah. upcoming. So, so I for you, the bonds are already old. Exactly. But I believe they are not so old currently to have a, you know. Well, uh, we <laughs> may perform the corporate bit of it later <laughs> to crown it up. Corporate men, what more what is about that? Uh, uh, we would also like don't be shy. You know, you know, I love no, I, I, am, I am not shy. A club called the Ladies from Kambala. Actually, the games are moving very well inside of the school. We are doing it very well. Actually, the team has played very well from the beginning. And then now they are finished the semi final, they are waiting for their final. School, Katikamu SDA. Wablens, is it Wablens? Yeah, okay. yeah, if they know Lakeside College, it's a, it is a sister school. So, how are you, girl? We are fine. Mm -hmm. Looking smart. Thank you. <laughs> but now, I won't say much, but the attire is okay. I wish everyone copies that. So, how are you guys coping up with this? Um, so far, we're firing up. We're having a good game so far. Yeah, and waiting for the finals. You have already gone through the finals. Yes. So, if you have already gone through the finals, there are those teams that have been scaring you. I want to know some of those schools that have really been a thorn in your shoe. Ah, uh, none. You are good. These kids are fire. <laughs> I think I'm already with the champion. <laughs> so, how has been your experience in this tournament? You, uh, you guys have been, like, you have been doing this from the start? Or you have just come in? We've been doing it for the past years, yeah, and we've also come back this year. We've been beaten in the past years. Yeah, and the finals, but today, but today you didn't the lion to go. <laughs>
But now, and of course, just like you know, wherever there is something fun, there is always something funnest. Now I've fallen on what we call funnest besides the tournament. Behind me are some of the businessmen that I've given in to come around to. Because you know, wherever there is that too much of work, there is always hunger. I'm seeing people have taken advantage of this. I'm seeing people making chapatis. I'm seeing people selling fruits. Yes. And behind me is someone I'm seeing. He's very busy. I just want to approach him and ask him what he's doing. <laughs> now I want to talk to you. I don't love shy men. <laughs> He's trying to run away. Just like the way you can see, it is too hot and these people are really making money. The way you can see there is water, I'm seeing sword around. And people who know what it means to be 18 and above, they are also enjoying. Just like you see the customer currently, he's 18 and above, he knows what he wants. So, sir, um, I'm sorry for interrupting, but uh, what can I have here because I am 8 years? Yeah. What are the drinks you're selling? Because I'm seeing 18 and above. Then ask who are 8. 18 and above. I am 8 years. That is 18 and above. Uh, 8 years you can take soda, uh, power play, and uh, water. And that's all. That is all you're having? Yeah. And then what about 40 and above? and above? 40 and above you can take Nile, uh, Club, and uh, Ego. And thanks be to Jesus, I've also arrived at the right time where it was too hot for me, so can I have mine? Woo! You see, this is why I enjoy these things. We land on free things. Yes. <laughs> why are you feeling bad? Uh, I'm not really very bad because uh, I'm also trying to promote business. That's why you see, I sometimes feel bad because uh, when you take for free, I'll be going back home. Okay, those are some of the people here selling some of the drinks, making people feel cool even when it is very hot. Business is business. As a businessman, it has brought customers who are supporting us. Uh, not only me as a person, but supporting the whole place as Kumi. Wow. The community of Kumi and Teso is benefiting. But uh, when it comes to talent, many young people are able to see from uh, the games, the stars who have traveled all the way from Sudan, Kampala, Kenya. So you find that uh, they, it motivates them yeah. to perform well in sports. Yeah. So that's why you are here. And it's something good for to remember a Poro Call Memorial Tournament. Okay, so what is that team that you're supporting? You really feel, yeah, this is my team? Oh, my team, unfortunately, has not been, did not participate. Because I prefer supporting local teams. Oh, so so our, our team. teams were, were there, but uh, we have been outbeaten. So, but uh, <laughs> but uh, why I'm proud? The very people who have beat us and the people we nurtured from here. Oh. When you look at all these teams, KAVC, KCC, KAVC Sporters, 80% are from Sons of the Soul. So, so first tell me, why do you think your team was beaten? Was it because of the weather or they didn't eat enough atap? No, we have enough atapa here. <laughs> Despite there is uh, eating uh, going on, but uh, the fact is that uh, talent development. You have to spend on uh, talents. It's not something you train that tomorrow there is a game. Then you go because because I used to play. I come and compete with those ones who are training. So oh. that's why the challenge is we don't train for for the game. You didn't train, but I hope next time you do better. Yes, well, I hope we shall do better than this. Yes. But no, uh, we're doing better now. And, uh, we be, we, this is how we're now trying to compensate. I was seriously attracted by what I'm seeing here. But I'm Yes, it's 
just after the stiff competition between UCC and some other institution that I've not yet understood, but I want to really first talk to them. And they tell me what really happened because they are really happy. I'm just going to go in the middle and I will talk to everyone who is there. So, hi guys. Ah, people are very excited. <laughs> My God! I even don't know where to begin from. Which team was that? Uh, you don't. <laughs> My God! This is too much. Now I even don't know where to begin from because you guys are super excited. I don't know. My name is Nespo Guidon. Which team is this? You say you Uganda Christian University. Okay, and which team were you playing? I was playing OBB Orange. Uh, how Bastards. many goals did? Eh? Orange Buloko Bastards. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, how many goals did you guys score? In fact, in volleyball we play points. The points. Wow, how many points were those? So we managed to get three sets, and they managed to take one set. Uh, so you qualify for the finals or those were the finals? We are the champions! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we are going to the finals now. So which other teams are you going to play after this? Sporters. Sporters. Yes, the block boys, the black boys. <laughs> so let me ask, are you going to do the same just like the way you've told those guys? <laughs> <laughs> so show me, she give me that vibe that really, you real feel your body <laughs> Just as you can see, these guys are so very happy, these guys have given them, I think you can see what is behind me, <laughs> and they are really expecting to go ahead and go through the finals and go give the Sportex as well. Okay, just like I've told you, these guys are super excited. But again, they have to tell me about how they are going to celebrate their victory. You guys, after winning the Sportex, why? How are you going to celebrate? <laughs> no, do you have some babs you're going to celebrate with? <laughs> so she's one of you. <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> the biggest gift you guys are going to receive? Yes, uh, as a team, we are, we are a young team and hopefully we believe that as a team we are here to send a message. We did not finish league last, league last year well, but we believe that this time around we are here for it. People are here for it. Have you have, have you gotten someone you're going to celebrate your victory with? We already have people. Uh, God is not not us. your your. Mm. They are the people we are talking about. <laughs> what is that name everyone wants to know? Yeah, this is Elias Ishagi, uh, the coach and the player of the team. I really love this team because I've been seeing everyone was cheering. Only you guys. Did you bribe people? No. This is this is the home based team. Oh. But yeah. also this is a university. And most of them were girls, I was scared. I thought it was the only team with cute boys. Of course, of course the river flows where there is water. <laughs> oh, because you have Nyash. <laughs> oh my God, okay, I wish you guys all the best. I'm praying for you. <laughs> okay, that was the team that was playing the OBBs, something like that. And they're hoping to play with the Sportex just like the way they have told you. Just keep it on Emria TV. I remain Bonita and we are going through this together with Emria TV. Just keep loving it. Keep watching Emria TV as we continue with the thing. We are going to show you until the finals, until we finish up this. Just know the finals are on and the qualified teams, that is one of them. TUs have told me they are ready for the Sportex. I also want to know what these people are also going to tell me about their preparations for the UCUs. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> have you really seen what the UCUs have done? Yeah, we have been watching since we finished our semi-final a bit earlier, so we watched some part of their games. So, aren't you scared after seeing what they've done to the OBBs? Uh, we are not scared. We have seen these <laughs> things happen several times, ah. depending on the teams you are playing. These people have a big fan base. How is your fan base? 
Our fan base, I think, is the biggest. If they have the, if they have a big fan base, ours is the biggest. Those people are really. Just even looking at them really makes me scared. For you, you're not shaking. <laughs> not at all. You're not shaking. We're just okay. Yeah, what can you tell your fan base out there? What you're going to do to those people in Ashura? Our fans let them just come uh, enjoy the game and wait for the trophy celebration. And with me is one of the referees that has been, uh, can I say judging? Officiating. Oh, okay, officiating the two, the game that has just ended between the OBBs and the UCUs, right? Yes, correct. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you. What is that name everyone wants to hear? My name is Komakechi Innocent. I'm on the Chairman Referees Commission, UVF. Oh, nice meeting you, sir. A pleasure. Too. So I wanted to know how the game was, how fair was it, how good was it, how competitive was it? Yeah, the game was quite good. Mm -hmm. All teams that go for semi-finals are very competitive and uh, it is not by mistake. They prepare for it. This is one of the biggest tournaments in the country, an international event and teams really prepare for these events. Yeah. So all teams that go for uh, semi-finals are teams that have prepared a lot. So the competition was quite fair and very good. Yeah. How did? Uh, what are you? You just have to judge both teams, or you had your own side? As a referee, we play neutral. We do yeah. not have sides. Oh. We play neutral. We are there to help the teams compete. But according fair. to your, according to your spectator, how do they say it? According to your judgment, which team do you think? According to the ones that have played, which team do you feel now these ones are real stars? There's no feelings. A oh. team that has won probably was better than the one that lost. Mm. So we don't have feelings when we are officiating. Okay. We officiate fairly and come out with the results accordingly. And the team that has won has gone for finals. Mm. That probably was a better team than the one that lost. Wow, I really love the way he's saying it because he's now speaking like a real referee. There are no feelings in this. You, the best team has to go with what, according to the way they have performed. Exactly. So what have you prepared for these people when they finish up with the finals and the winning team has got a need? I mean, there are trophies, medals, certificates for the winning team. And of course the honors that comes with it. An international event in the country, one of the biggest that the Federation usually hosts. It is a pride. And uh, the fact that one of the teams are uh, composed of most of the players from the region gives them pride and the crowd is always in support of such. We sit down and talk our issues, then we also dance around, celebrate, that is all. The celebrations I know are celebrations of bars, what, girls, are you guys not going to do that? Mm. Mm. Those those, people, those, don't, don't allow those people to challenge you on in the matches. Those as would be done, but uh, you know we are kicking off season, we have other tournaments to come in, so we can't risk doing that on at so the moment. this is a serious team? Yeah, very serious. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you heard from the spot, as these people are also very much prepared for the UCUs. Though the other ones are big bulls, they are, these ones are showing us they are more than buffaloes <laughs> but still this is a very stiff competition just like i've told you and just keep watching it at emria tv these people are too much i just can't wait what these people are going to do to each other but let's just wait for them and see what is going to happen just keep it on emria tv with your girl nita lovey let's go
And if me here is one of the guys that has really surprised me, he really had a, geni a junior team. Uh, should I call it a junior club of gymnastics? One of the unique events that has occurred here in Kumi. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening to you. What is that name that everyone wants to hear? Uh, gymnastics. But everyone is a gymnast. Uh, no. But my name is um, Odong Alfred. Mr. Odong. Um, also Alfred. the General Secretary of Gymnastics Association of Uganda. So how did you come up with bringing gymnastics in uh, Kumi? Because for real, we always see these things in Chinese. Um, gymnastics Association of Uganda is a newly registered sports body. And uh, the sport is still young. So we're trying to promote it. And the beauty about it is that um, gymnastics is the mother of all sport. It is about your body and now we make use of it. Either to entertain others, to have fun yourself, but also for good health. You have to stretch if you are suffering from arthritis. It is good basically for non-communicable diseases. Oh, okay. So I saw those young kids do How have you managed to tempt them to the level that I've seen today? Um, some of them are naturally gifted, talented. Wow. But then there are those ones that you can train. Even you can be trained to be turn to a gymnast. You can do most of these things. Uh -huh. So um, we had to showcase here just to promote gymnastics. Actually because of time, but we had uh, organized something like aerobics, but imitation of uh, somebody playing gymnastics, serving, blocking, receiving, digging, without a ball, just imaginary. But I think we are going to do it at some other point in the future. Wow, we have really missed because of time, but hope next time it will be all well. Surely we shall invite you to come here and uh, you are going to, because gymnastics is acrobatics, aerobics, there's artistic gymnastics, there's uh, rhythmic gymnastics, there's what you call parkour, even there's rope skipping, so there's plenty on our menu for you people to enjoy, but also to practice at home. And yes, we have come to the long way, the time of the final conclusion of everything of which we expected to see you, see you and Sport S having their finals but to our disappointment the management of Sport S, Club Sport S has really, I don't know whether I should call it freaking out or something but again they cancelled out the game, they are giving excuses like it is too late, they couldn't play but of which it was a sign of cowardice but we couldn't just say it out though we could see it in their eyes and of which, which we man of which we managed to match you see you the winners of today's game and currently we are seeing Zana and Ngora High School having their final match. We don't know who is who. We don't know who is going to take up the, the trophy tonight home. But we wish them all the best. But today, just know the club that has taken it has been UCU. The, and, and by the way, I've realized in that club, the club is so full of the... How can I call them the homeboys of Kumi? The I can say citizens of Kumi district, of which their fan base was so big, which cheered them up that they did to their best. It was so massive, you needed to see this. But today that is how the game, has, the sports went on, How that is how the tournament has been. We have seen a lot of things, a lot of schools have competed, Katikamu schools from all over East Africa, both primary, secondary and up to the university level. It has been so nice. Thank you for watching Emria TV. Thank you for keeping out on Emria TV with me, your girl Nita Lavi. And today my cameraman behind there was Savon. Thank you so much. That is how it has been at Kumi. See you next time.